So okay. uh, a standard game, we've been asked uh, how long does a standard game at last, and at least uh, so far internally, the average game lasts around nine minutes. Yeah. Uh, we're going a little long because we're perhaps a bit chatty. Uh oh He's played Flame Dome Totem, and that gives the adjacent totems plus two attack, and I'm glad we killed off that totem because otherwise we'd have two yep. totems coming yep. at us here. And uh, we're, we're, oh, hey, that's a great card to draw. Yeah, multi-shot will take care of two of those guys, so the only question is do we want to tactically remove one first so it doesn't hit that specific well, one. Like, we could use our two of our snakes to kill the flame tongue totem yeah, and then multi-shot. That's true, and it would definitely kill the other two, but then if we multi-shot to hit the flame tongue totem, then we can use a snake and then get extra damage here. I think we can end the game quickly, okay, so I, we're going to risk it here. Yeah, Hope I agree. get that flame tongue. Boom! And now the snake can finish off that last totem. Uh, should I unleash the hounds again to give these guys some extra attack? And we've got Actually, two of them. I think maybe we should, right? Because if it's we don't only end this, two extra damage on this. Turn. No, it also gives them charge. Let's not do it yet, because okay. that way, if we draw another beast, we can come out with swinging with it. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to save my last durability here in case uh, I need to handle a big minion on his side. I totally agree with that. So uh, we've asked, what happens when you run out of cards during the game? So, uh, I was going to. So what happens is. The game doesn't immediately end. Each time that you would draw, no! each time that you would draw a card when you run out of cards, you would take a damage for that card and it stacks. So the second time you draw a card when you want to, would have run out of cards, uh, you bad. take two damage. The third time, three damage. So the game doesn't immediately end, but it's going to end pretty quickly, like our game did. Speaking of ending, yeah, here's the. Uh... He used the lightning blade. He has one card left to say so, we almost turned it around. So, remember playing that wolf? I know, I shouldn't have played the, the dire wolf. But now we're going to play your warrior deck, right? And, right. and, and turn this whole thing around. Blizzard employees, it's on. Here I come. <laughs> Garrosh wants revenge. Why did you call the Garrosh deck the kind of a jerk deck? Garrosh is kind of a jerk. <laughs> okay. He's kind of a jerk. Uh, so, while we're waiting, uh, what's the card limit in our deck? Can we use more than two of the same card? Uh, not in standard decks, uh, and you can only use one of each legendary card, but in the forge you can use uh, whatever you end up picking out of the, the forge. Okay, Uther, we're playing Warrior versus Paladin. This Garrosh is looking pretty strong. A one-drop shield bearer, which, which will protect us, and the fiery war axe at two. I like all three of those cards. And Rampage, as soon as the shield bearer gets damaged, that's... What I tell you about this deck? I don't know if I could have crafted a stronger this start. This is a good deck. This yeah, is my, this is my best a, deck. That's a great. <laughs> uh, I know I'm zero for three uh, uh, stream people, but uh, I feel good about this last game here. You shall not pass. So starting off with shield bearer is really strong. Yeah, it's it's a great card to start. But would be even better is if he. <laughs> All right, well, face off. Uh, if he deals any damage to this guy, not only does he have Enrage, so he gets a little stronger, but I could Rampage him, and it's just devastating. But of course, you have no way of, of damaging him, because he put out a blocker as well. So now I've got uh, Fiery War Axe, and that's terrible against the Shield Bearer. Yeah, it's terrible. The, that was probably the best card he could have played to counter us. I'm just going to use my Hero Power, gives me two armor, and end the turn. I'm going to pick some coconuts while we wait. Oh, I, shield bear. I really do like this board. This, the Stranglethorn board just makes me happy, frankly. Oh, okay. It's the Paladin Knife Thrower deck. Uh-oh. Hmm. So, well, go ahead. Let's talk strategy. <laughs> well, neither of these cards are especially good here. I think perhaps I Fiery War Axe. Hope he attacks into my shield bear to damage him. Actually, at this point, maybe the Knife Juggler will just get me within Rampage range. Uh, and I can turn it around that way. Because once, once this guy's rampaging, he can attack the shield bearer and finish him off himself. So maybe I just use my hero power and do nothing again. That's so funny, that's tempting. And at four, we can fiery war axe and cleave to break our way through that's if we true. need to. All right, so. we're doing it. Just gonna armor up. A little bit of fainting here. Uh, armor does stack up. Yes, I'm reading some of these questions. You can get up to. 500 armor, I guess, if you <laughs> spent forever using that hero power. Some other cards to give you armor as well. Yeah, and to get back to another question uh, about snake traps, you can only have one trap of the same type at any given time. So I could only have one snake trap out, but I could have a bunch of different uh, secrets out. So I could have the uh, explosive trap and snake snake trap and uh, 
misdirection, a whole bunch of them. Okay, so he's damaged our shield bearer. I can now uh, uh, rampage him and make him huge. But, uh, but if you rampage him, all he gets to do is bust through their shield bearer. Yeah, but he's, he's still a 4-4 four, four with taunt. And, and that costs two, and it leaves us two, and we can use the war axe then to take out the knife juggler, uh -huh. which is, I think, the biggest threat right now. Sounds great. So here comes my fiery war axe. Boom! In the face, knife juggler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, your board looks kind of crappy now, doesn't it? I, I think that the waiting was the right thing to do. Yeah. As much as it pains me to say that. I didn't end up taking uh, any damage beyond the armor that I built up, and now uh, you just got a little Imp Master. Actually, I run Imp Masters in this deck as well, because you play them, the first turn they're out, they make a new Imp and damage themselves, and they're perfect targets for Rampage. Do you need a blessing? Wow, he's playing a lot of minions. I don't have a lot of AoE in this deck. I do have Brawl. Which is perhaps the most fun card to play. I don't know if it's the right time to play it, but I'm <laughs> yeah, always tempted to play Brawl because it's so fun visually. Well, it could, so it could be amazing. Right now, I could leave only my guy on the field, but it also could cause my guy to be destroyed. <laughs> so and it's and not Cleave perfect. is probably uh, yeah, Cleave feels pretty good right now too, especially if you've already swung with uh, like swung with your axe and take out. Maybe we take out that guy with the axe instead of the. Uh, oh yes, yeah, that sounds good. Because we can take damage right now. Our health is pretty good. All right, so now uh, Cleave could finish these guys off. And, and if, it, if it, doesn't, it doesn't, I can finish him off with this Exactly, guy. so right. Cleave is feeling... Ba-boom! Oh, that was great. Uh, only got that in master left there. So, and uh, it seems like maybe we swing into him to take board position, because we've got card advantage right now. We've yeah. got four cards. The Paladin's only got three. Looks like he's playing a little bit of a, a speed deck, and so I think that we might have an edge here. We'll get two shield bearers going. And... Uh, Hopefully he attacks him that second one yeah. and enrages that one, too. <laughs> the problem is we have Big Game Hunter in our hand, which isn't a great card uh, yes. to play against this type of deck. Yeah, that he's playing a lot of smaller guys. He's unlikely to get anything up to a 7 uh, Although it is a Paladin deck, so he could have the uh, he could have a... Uh, Lesser Mar Knight, Lesser yeah, Kings. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And power up one of his guys to be huge, and then we end him. Yeah. Well, the Act of Pain uh, has only three health, uh, so... He's not going to take a lot of damage, and you really want to kill him off in one hit, so he doesn't, because every time you hit Acolyte of Pain, he uh, draws a card. So a card. either you want to not kill him by not doing damage, or you want to take him out in one hit. So he tried to finish off my Shield Bear, but I just drew another Rampage, so this guy's about to get crazy. <laughs> And, and now the question is, do we swing for him because he's kind of high health? Yeah. Or actually, maybe, yeah, we use the uh, Kokron Elite to take out his uh, Acolyte of Pain. Yeah, I just don't want to see that guy get uh, any buffs because then he's going to take a, a lot more to kill. I think this time I'll even allow... It's, he might have a buff in his hand to buff this guy and attack me, but at this point, seven damage is... Yeah, that seems like the right thing to do. Yeah. Um, we, say, we say that now. Threatening me back. Justice demands retribution. So this is a question maybe from a long time ago. I'm I'm just a little slow. Will there be uh, mana crystal deprivation and reactionary in response mechanics in cards? And do we have any? I don't think we have any cards that destroy enemy mana crystals. No, we it's, don't. And we wanted to focus this game around the idea of. You get to do awesome stuff. You don't necessarily want to take away the awesome stuff that the opponent can do, or at least, at least leave them sitting, being able to do nothing. But we do have secrets, and, and that was the traps that we were talking about earlier, and those are the reaction spells. So you can't actively choose to play something in response to uh, what they do, right. but you can put something out and trick them into doing the wrong thing, and something will right. happen by surprise that they weren't expecting. So I decided to just play the Big Game Hunter, because I'm not expecting any giant minions to come out of this Paladin deck. He seems to have been playing a lot of smaller ones and hoping for an early game I hope this strategy. doesn't turn out to be your wolf move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. He used the Iron Beak out to silence my shield bearer, and that's... Oh, oh that was crud. That was very strong. Two damage to all of our guys. Both of our guys had two health, except for the shield bearer, which has no defenses now. Yeah, I mean, he's basically useless. Oh, uh, you know what he is? is fodder for my brawl. I don't even know why he's bothering to attack the shield bearer at this point. Uh, hmm, that's, I, I, Nat Pagel is always a fun card. Yeah, well, he could help a lot now because I'm running low and I need to get some more cards. So Nat Pagel doesn't look strong, but he has a chance of drawing a card every single turn. Yeah, at, the end of, at the end of my turn, 50% chance to draw a card. So yeah. will I draw? Come on, Nat, catch me a fish. And fish! Fish! Awesome. Mortal strike. We're, we're looking at a card disadvantage here, and yeah, our board we're... isn't looking too strong. Well, I do have that bagel. 
And I know, I know. So, I'm just saying that, you know, you were promising great things with this guy. Uh -huh. So he played his cult master. 